We went to Hutchinson County. Uh, you know, and the main reason is they've had several years of excessive rainfall over a good portion of that county. You know, 2019 was wet throughout all South Dakota, but Hutchinson's probably been really wet since 2017 or 18. Um, even again this year in 2020, they're wet. But we were going there and we were trying to find areas where we could look at a few things such as, you know, if there's any rutting in the fields, how we can, practices that we can do to uh, kind of remediate those things. Uh, we're also looking at some areas of, of salinity that have formed because of the excess of rainfall. Um, over the past several years. So it's really, we were just looking at an area, a large area of, of the state that had excessive rainfall for several years and how those producers were managing them. Yeah, so we're on a field here, kind of South Central South Dakota, and it's actually been two years of prevent plant, but they managed to get some cereal rye in, um, as you can see. And they've actually uh, burnt this down um, after they planted it. It's planted to corn. The corn's not germinated yet, um, but it's close. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the root development on the cereal rye. And um, Brent Woods, the DC here, uh, talked with the producer and said it was really good planting conditions. They don't know if they would have gotten into this field uh, to plant without the cereal rye in here. Um, so let's take a look at what the root development on the cereal rye looks like. Yep. So the cereal rye gets uh, it's, it's fine root hairs, um, really kind of a dense root mat. Uh, especially the upper 18 inches of, of the soil profile. Just really really ideal planting conditions. Um, another advantage of the cereal rye um, that producers will notice is some weed control. Um, cereal rye is good at controlling the weeds, it grows early and outcompetes a lot of the weeds and has some of that allelopathic effect on weed seed germination. So, um, I think we're going to be seeing more of this probably um, in the Dakotas. The cereal rye is going to be popular um, strictly for, yes, the, the soil health benefits obviously, but uh, planting conditions and um, I'll compete some of those weeds.